Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Kelly. Hi, if you're new, I'd love if you guys hit that subscribe button down below along with the little bell notification. That way you can get notified the next time I upload my newest video. And today I'm super excited to be sitting down and filming my October favorites. I seriously love filming these sit down chit chatty type videos where I share all my favorites from this current month with you guys. So if you guys have any other favorites or if we have anything in common, let me know in the comments down below and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy them. But we're just gonna get into this video. I'm super excited about it. I always start off these videos with my top five songs from Spotify. So my Spotify, my Spotify is just that Kelly Two Buys Tomlinson. I have some really fun playlists on there, I think, and my account's public, so you can follow me if you want. And honestly, my music from this month is very random. I have a few songs, and they're in no particular order. They're just how I, like, wrote them down for you guys. My first song that I want to share with you guys is Mona Lisa, and it's by Lil Wayne. It's on his new album. It has Kendrick Lamar in it. This song is so good to run to. I just really like the beat of it, and I know some people don't like Lil Wayne's new album. I kind of like it, so you know. It's all good, it's all good. The next song that I really like is called Better by Khalid. Love this song, the lyrics just get me every single time I listen to it. I seriously just love all his music because his voice is so amazing. <laughs> the next song I wanna share with you guys is called Natural by Imagine Dragons. I haven't listened to them for like four or five years and honestly I heard this song and I was like, you know, that's good. I put it on my running playlist. And the next two songs are on my Prepster playlist. One of them is called Cold, Cold, Cold. This one is really fun, kind of different than what I usually listen to, but I really like it. And the last song that I want to share with you guys is called Single by The Neighborhood. I just really like the beat of it. I think it's really like catchy and like just like chill and I feel like it's perfect for fall, like when you're cruising and you see all like the little autumn leaves and they're falling. It's just like a good song. I think you guys should check them out. If you guys want to, again, my Spotify is just at Kelly Two Wise Tomlinson. It's listed down below all the time so you guys can check it out whenever you want if you want to. The so next in these videos, I like to talk about what I'm currently reading reading my favorite books from this month and I have two to share with you guys. So I am currently reading this book and I've had this book for a while and I just never really like finished it. Like I started it, would get like 10 to 15 pages into it and just like never really get farther than that. And it is called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill and I have the 21st century edition so there's like a little bit of extra text in it I guess. It is so good. Do you see this? I'm like bookmarking stuff. I absolutely love this book. I don't think you have to be like into business or like wanting to get money to read this. I think it's a really cool and interesting read because it's all about the power of your mind and everything. I don't know. I love these kind of books. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know I love self-help and like businessy type type books. So this one might be an all-time fave. And the next book that I wanted to share with you guys is a little bit different. So this is an ebook. I saw the ad on my Instagram stories, which I guess those ads on Instagram stories really do work because I <sighs> because I even bought one. So I saw this ebook and it was like all about how to grow your Instagram and it was like $30. I think her I think the account that it's from because it was like a sponsored story is from Hello Fashion the blog or Hello Fashion blog something like that I will have it listed down below but it is a 60 page ebook I think it's like 30 bucks I bought it read the whole thing and oh my gosh guys it was great I've gone up like 200 Instagram followers since I started reading it honestly it's just really a great book if you're interested in growing your Instagram following I definitely recommend buying her ebook I personally really like it it talks about like tips and tricks on how to take good pictures like how to grow your following it just like a lot of the things in it made sense like I knew some of it but like a lot of things I'm like oh I did not think of that and I've been on Instagram for a while so I really like that book I just wanted to share that with you guys as well but don't feel like you have to buy it because you can find tons of tips and tricks on how to grow your Instagram online for free as well and just like figuring it out yourself and stuff but personally I thought it was worth the 30 bucks and then the next thing I like to talk about in these videos are my favorite movies and TV shows and you guys already know I started watching Riverdale I was so behind I don't know what happened during season two I just stopped watching it so I had to catch up I had like six episodes I'm like I have to watch this before the premiere it is so good oh my gosh it just leaves me on a cliffhanger and like I don't really like like suspenseful like like scary shows and stuff because it like freaks me out and then I can't sleep at night you know I'm not a scary movie person and this one's like kind of scary like it's not scary it just has me on the edge of my seat the whole time I'm watching it and I'm just like what is gonna happen I can't stop watching it and it's so good and it doesn't help that KJ and Cole Sprouse are just so cute oh my gosh. okay if you guys watch Riverdale, let me know who your favorite is down below because I'm curious. I, I used to think I was like Archie all the way, but now like Jughead's just so cute and I'm like, I, I can't decide. And on to my favorite category of these videos, the fashion and clothing related items. So the first one I want to share with you guys is my long shop. And I've had this bag for a while, but I just switched over to this one from my pink Teddy Blake handbag that's in the background. 
I was like, the pink one's so cute and so me, but I was like, I need a fall one that matches all my fall outfits. So I switched it over to my little black long shop. You can see everything that's inside of this in a what's in my purse video if you guys want to check that out. I also have been wearing my Vineyard Vines pumpkin whale t-shirt like crazy. I feel like this is like the only month that's like really, really acceptable to wear this. So of course I'm trying to wear it like at least once a week. <laughs> and I actually did wear this in my morning routine video as a PJ and I do sleep in this sometimes because it's just so cute. I have been obsessed with vests and I feel like last year I didn't wear them as much and this year I'm like oh my gosh I miss them I'm wearing them a ton and this one is so cute this is the striped one from J Crew, so it's like navy with white stripes it's got the gold buttons and it has a little side pocket and then this opens up as a pocket as well and these are so great because the weather has been like a little bit like weird here because it's still like the early stages of fall so it is getting colder but like it gets warmer throughout the day so these are just nice if you have to put something warm on in the morning and then just like something that's like not super hot like your winter coat by the end of the day so I love wearing these and I think they're so cute like fashionable too you know so recently in one of my hauls I picked up this pair of light wash jeans from Levi I've never had a pair of jeans this color I always get dark wash and oh my gosh these made it into my favorites video you guys I love them they're so comfy I got the Levi 710 super skinny so comfy the materials like kind of stretchy they just fit really nice and I love 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 the color like the wash on the legs look really good it's just they're really flattering and I absolutely love them and the last fashion thing that I want to share with you guys is this really fun like orangey sweater from polo I love it because it's like a big chunky cable knit but I don't know about you guys but like I always just associate orange with October because of pumpkins so this sweater is just so cute and I love it because there's so many different ways to wear sweaters and this one is just so fun because orange so those are all my fashion favorites that I wanted to share with you guys and now I'm going to share my beauty favorites and one of the first things I want to share with you guys is this Garnier Fructis style hairspray and it is the volumizing hairspray and my hair had a little bit more volume earlier today but I put this in after like waving my hair and I love this stuff I've been waving my hair a lot lately just because I learned how to do it from that girl's YouTube video but this stuff really holds the wave and especially since my hair is getting so much longer that it like weighs it down so it kind of pulls it out so like this really helps keeping it like nice and big and voluminous <laughs> then I also want to share with you guys this live love and polish nail polish I'm currently wearing it on my nails right now and I have gotten so many compliments on this this is in the shade called casting call I just love this polish it's only two coats and it's so fun because it's like a metallic nail polish so if you have like flash on a really like bright light it like has all these sparkly effects in it it's really cool next I want to share with you guys are my favorite eyelashes and I've been getting so many questions because over on Instagram which is just that Kelly preps there I've been doing a lot more Instagram stories which I'm going to talk about a little later but I have been wearing my fake lashes a lot lately just because I love how they make my lashes look so full and they're very natural looking but these are just the Ardell wispies in black and I I have been getting so many questions on what I'm wearing because people are like what mascara are you using and I'm like I'm not even wearing any mascara <laughs> so these are great I bought the two pack and it comes with the glue and tweezers and the glue is in my makeup cabinet somewhere over there so we're just not gonna worry about that right now but I think these are so easy to put on I have a whole tutorial over on my Instagram in one of my little makeup videos but there's instructions on the back as well and then I want to share with you guys my favorite eyeshadow palette right now look how pretty this palette is for fall the colors are just beautiful my favorite shades are this one this one and that one they're just so pretty I have yet to reach out to the really dark colors but maybe one day when I'm just bored I'll play around with it but this is the Serena's by P profusion they sell this at Target I think it's under like 10 bucks too and you guys this palette is so pretty my last beauty thing that I want to share with you guys are these pixie matte lipsticks and these are I got an APR package but I have been wearing these two shades so much and I feel like I've talked about this so much to you guys. This is in the shade Bare Beauty. I'm currently wearing this one right now. You guys know I love a really natural looking lipstick and this one is just perfect. And then of course you have to go to the extreme opposite. I love a really fun red and this is called Real Red. I like to wear this on like nights out or just like for a really glam look and I love this color. It goes on so well. It like, literally lasts forever so it's a great product. I definitely recommend it. <laughs> and then I want to share a few of my random favorites for this month and one of them like I mentioned earlier is my Instagram stories so again over on my Instagram I did share this already is that Kelly Brooks 
Again, over on my Instagram, I have been posting a lot more Instagram stories, whether that just be like a little funny throughout the day, like an outfit of the day, or like something I got in the mail. I asked you guys like a few weeks ago what you guys want to see on my Instagram stories because I wasn't using them at all and I have been using them like crazy lately and it's so much fun because I get to be able to talk to you guys a little bit more like without just a post or like a YouTube video so you can like DM me and we can talk about it or you guys can do like little polls on it. I just think it's so much fun and if you have any other Instagram story ideas, let me know because I'm like trying to figure out how to do it because I'm still very new to it. Another thing that's like super random that I've been loving like crazy are these snickerdoodle cookies from Quest Protein. You guys know I love protein bars and like protein just like in general because they fit into my diet and I work out a lot and these are so yummy because they taste like cookies. You can microwave them but they have like 15 grams of protein in it which is like a protein shake but they're in cookie form. Low-key kind of have a sweet tooth so these are amazing. I absolutely love them. And then one of my last like favorite favorites is this app on my phone and it is called Huji. I think that's how you pronounce it. I mentioned this in my what's on my phone video and it's just this app right there if you can see that up and it, and it looks like one of those old like vintage cameras and they're just so much fun because I'll show you an example. So this is where I'm filming right now. It makes it look like vintage, like on those old cameras that you used to take as a little kid, like the disposable cameras. And I just absolutely love it. So anyways, I always end these videos with my favorite quote for this past month. So my favorite quote is, three simple rules in life. One, if you do not go after what you want, you will never have it. Two, if you do not ask, the answer will always be no. And three, if you do not step forward, you will always be in the same place. I just thought that was so motivating and I really been inspiring me this past month so maybe it'll inspire you but I hope you guys enjoyed this video again let me know in the comments down below if you have any favorites for this month that I need to check out or if you have anything in comment I love being able to connect with all of you guys and talk to you guys in the comments so be sure to comment say hi and if you guys haven't definitely hit that subscribe button so you can get notified the next time I upload my next video and I'll see you guys very soon bye guys mm -hmm.